two minutes to the gentleman from Oregon, the distinguished ranking member of the Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure, Mr. DeFazio. The gentleman from Oregon is recognized for two minutes. Well, uh, in terms of what the gentleman from Georgia just said, I do appreciate uh, the fact that we are debating many policy amendments. That's the way the process should work. Both sides of the aisle contribute. That's great. Uh, some were excluded that I think should have been included. I don't know why they weren't allowed. Uh, I was willing to stay here later last night and stay later tonight so everybody who wanted an amendment could have a chance. But the biggest and most glaring uh, omission by the Rules Committee uh, is any attempt not allowing any attempt by this House to fund the bill. I mean, that's pretty extraordinary. It's actually, we probably don't even have three years of pretend funding in the bill, because some of those offsets were spent last week in the big budget deal, so I don't know what we got left. But it sure as heck isn't anywhere near six years of funding, and it's not six years of funding at a more robust level, which is necessary. Even if we funded this bill for six years, at the end of six years, our infrastructure will be more deteriorated than it is today. It's deteriorating more quickly than we're investing. That's a problem. We need to increase the investment. We haven't raised the federal gas tax since 1993. That's a user fee, a user fee created by President Dwight David Eisenhower and raised again by Ronald Reagan and then finally uh, by Bill Clinton. Last time it was increased. A bipartisan idea, user fee, fund infrastructure for transportation with a user fee. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce supports an increase in the user fee. The American Trucking Association supports an increase in the user fee. We're virtually being begged by interest groups out there representing consumers and commercial users of the system, do something. Vote on something. I offered a really simple little amendment. Let's just index the existing gas tax so we don't lose more ground. If we did that, gas would go up 1.7 cents a gallon next year. Whoo! I think consumers would be outraged. No, they wouldn't be outraged. They'd be pleased we start filling in the potholes and doing away with the detours around the bridges that are closed. So, you know, and if you index and you project that, you could borrow money against the future income following the budget rules of PAYGO. We could borrow $100 billion and fill in the huge hole in this bill and then use some of those so-called pay-fors to increase spending under this bill. Why can't we have a simple vote on revenues? A vote expired. by the House of Gentlemen Representatives. Is not recognized. Chair recognizes the gentleman from Georgia. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.